Singida district forms part of the semi-arid central zone of Tanzania, which experiences low rainfall and shorty rain seasons, which are often erratic. The majority of the people, constituting 75% in the district, depend on agriculture, of which 53% are women. Major problems facing the agriculture sector in Singida include poor agriculture production due to unreliable rainfall, limited extension services or inadequate extension officers to provide technical advice to farmers and livestock keepers, and inadequate knowledge and skills to adapt to the changing climate among farmers. To enable smallholder farmers in Singida district to adapt to these challenges and improve their livelihoods, ActionAid Tanzania, in collaboration with Cornell University from USA and Nelson Mandela University, they have been implementing the Singida Nutrition and Agroecology Project. Ni mradi ambao umetekelezwa katika vijiji 20 vya halmashauri ya wilaya ya Singida na katika kila kijiji kuna wakulima washauri wawili ambao walichaguliwa uh, waweze kupata mafunzo mbalimbali ndani na nje ya nchi ili hao wakulima washauri waweze kuhudumia zile kaya 30 katika kila kijiji katika kutoa elimu juu ya masuala ya kilimo mseto, masuala ya madawa ya asili, masuala ya lishe na masuala ya jinsia. Mimi kama mkulima mshauri kwenye kikundi changu cha vumilia kuna wanachama hamsini na mbili wanawake 27 na wanaume 25. Na nina wanachama walioingia mwaka jana tulio karibisha kwenye kikundi wako 12 kutofauti na wale tulio sajiliwa kabisa kwa sababu wale walifurahia mradi wetu na wakaomba kuingia na tumewaingiza tunawapa mbegu na wanapanda na tunapata masomo pamoja na tunabadilishana mawazo pamoja SNAP project has shown positive changes in agroecological practices smallholder farmers were taught agroecological practices that include intercropping and use of natural herbs to fight pets. Mwanzo kabisa tulipewa mafunzo kuyeenda Malawi, tukapata mafunzo ya kuhusu kilimo, usawa kijinsia na lishe bora kwa watoto. Na pia tulivorudi mafunzo mbalimbali tuliendelea kupewa tukiwa hapa Singida. Tulipewa tena mafunzo kuhusu madawa ya asili. Tulipatiwa haya mafunzo huko Moshi. Ya dawa za asili mwanzo kwa tujui si tulikuwa tunatumia tu kemikali za kawaida ambazo zinatumika lakini baada ya kupata mafunzo tuka tukajua kwamba kumbe kuna dawa za asili ambazo zinaweza zikasaidia kuua wadudu au kufukuza wadudu wa haribifu shambani na dawa hizo zinatumika kuhifadhia mazao On the other hand dietary diversity has significantly improved for children mothers and fathers in the villages under the SNAP project. Katika mradi huu tumekuwa pia tukifanya vipimo. Tunafanya vile vipimo vya kutathmini hali ya lishe kwa upande wa wakina mama pamoja na watoto. Kwa kweli toka mwanzo tulipoanza hali ya lishe ilikuwa iko chini kwa hao wakina mama pamoja na watoto. Lakini toka wamepatiwa ile elimu wamelekezwa jinsi ya kuchanganya vyakula na jinsi ya kualisha watoto tulivyokuwa tunaendelea kupima na kutathmini zile hali ya lishe walikuwa wanaonekana wako vizuri na wale ambao walikuwa wanaonekana hali yao ya lishe iko chini tulikuwa tunawapa elimu tunawaelekeza zaidi na tunakuwa nao karibu tunaona tukija kurudi tena kupima tunakuta hali yao imekuwa vizuri na wanaendelea vizuri katika masuala mazima ya lishe SNAP has also had a major impact on food security. Farmers participating in the project have for all the years of the project implementation been assured of food security due to agroecological practices. Kwa hiyo kwenye heka moja, unakuta mwana kikundi au mkulima hamefaidika kwa mazao matatu kwa mpigu. Kwa hiyo, kilima mseto pia kimeleta hamasa. Kwa mba mta wanana, ah, kumba naza nikafeli maharage, nikapata kunde. Naza nikafeli kunde, nikapata mahindi. The project has gone a long way in eliminating gender inequality issues that are prominent in Singida. Women are now having higher decision-making powers within households in the villages under SNAP project. Bada kujifunza kushirikiana 
maamuzi ya pamoja na familia yangu ni kitu ambacho kimekuwa ni bora zaidi kuliko mwanzo nilivyokuwa tuna mtu mmoja anajiamulia baba anaamua jambo baadaye likishamletea tatizo labda kidogo inakuwa ni vigumu kukuwa ku, ku, pamoja na familia lakini kwa sasa hivi baada ya kujua hilo sasa hivi tuko pamoja na familia tukiamua jambo tunaamua tukishirikiana pamoja sasa kwa kuwatumia wakulima ambao tayari wanaaminika katika jamii, wanaaminika katika vikundi kumesaidia ku, ku, kuziba lile pengo la upungufu wa maafisa ugani na ninafikiri kwamba hii e, mfumo huu ukitumika unaweza katusaidia maana tuna upungufu mkubwa. Labda ni semetu katika almashauri yangu e, tuna tuna vijiji 84 na katika vijiji hivyo 84 tunakata 16 lakini eh, sorry kata 21 lakini ni, ni seme maafisa ugani ambao wapo Niki, nikijihusisha na mimi mwenyewe wako maafisa ugani 16 sasa angalia tu hata kata zenyewe hatuwezi kuzi, kuzifikia zote lakini unapokuwa na wale wakulima eh, washauri wanatusaidia kufika kule sehemu ambako eh, maafisa ugani hawezi kufika lakini pia wanaaminika na wakulima wenyewe With the SNAP project having been successful, AuctionAid Tanzania calls upon the government and other stakeholders to allocate resources in support of agroecological farming methods to improve livelihoods of smallholder farmers in Singida district and Tanzania in general.